is on EA Sports and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Tonight we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. former Cornhusker Brett Maher to get this one started. And off we go from Tampa. Fields this way up at the 17. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. short pickup to about the 25. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Brady going to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Here's Brady. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up fourth down. They'll go for it, it's Brady. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. A first down carry by Elliott. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Buccaneers are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get him next time out. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it and then run with the football. Play action, now it's Brady. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody. Oh, he just stuck out there and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to 
was saying, get those backs into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now a play fake, Brady. Finds his running back. It's Leonard Fournette with it. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. There it is, the defense waking up after three plays that hurt them. Finally, they stand up. They have a little pride, too, you know. Three straight first down type plays. Yeah, they wanted to make one stick on their side, didn't they? They'll find Fournette again here. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Leonard Fournette from six yards away. And the Buccaneers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point put through by Suckham. And that makes the score 7 0. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. On second and ten, Prescott, his throw incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. They have one, they're just unable to complete the pass. On third down, it's Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. Now Prescott. That one complete, Elliott. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 33. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 16. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Give them 14 on that one, and a first down. Out of the gun, here's...
Dallas Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple. And it's second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge off his receivers downfield. To the air again, Prescott. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series, because drives like that, the end with a turn. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Brady airing this one out for Evans. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. But I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. He's got a man complete. And he's going to step out of bounds at the 35-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, 35 yards. And the Cowboys are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Brett Maher on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Otten brings it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Play action. Now Brady. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. 
We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. Mar on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Following the touchdown, here's Mar to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll set up a throw. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. To throw is Brady. Airing this one out for Evans. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. The final shot before half for Brady. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This one fielded at the five. 
And nowhere to go. He only makes it to the five. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Back near his goal line, it's Prescott. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This has suddenly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes on to the floor. They'd like to avoid playing from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Buccaneer offense will be set up well as they take over. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Brady gives this to White. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. On second and 12, Brady escaping, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Micah Parsons in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Fournette, a first down carry. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Throwing now is Brady. Over the middle complete. It's White. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. The Bucs passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That's Anthony Barr coming in from his linebacker spot to bring him to the ground. So Brady and the Bucs need to work a little magic third and long after that last sack. his target it's Evans and he'll be tackled right on the 10 well short of the first down that's good the completion there for seven yards and that's gonna make it fourth down 
And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming from the right hash here. Should be an easy one. Suckup's kick is good. And they've got the lead back down to four now at 14 10. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On the counter, Elliott. And able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. And it's a keeper with Prescott. I liked it. Just take the snap, burrow forward, pick up the few inches you need for a first down. And defensively, I don't think they were expecting that. They looked a little surprised in the middle. Yeah, a little bit wary there, weren't they? Because that can be a throwaway down where maybe you go play action, fake it, and try and get something big. But instead, they said, forget it. Let's just get a first down and start a new set. No running room for Zeke on first down as he'll maybe get a yard out of that. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but works some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. On right, second down, Elliott once more. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first timeout. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback when there's extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit into football. Fourth down, Prescott. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. 
And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. On the move past the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Brady now on first down. Another catch by White. Back-to-back -back plays. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Two yards good enough for first. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Brady to throw. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? I like it. I like the call. It's still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. And on third down, the Cowboys bringing an extra defensive back. Now Brady. A pass underneath for Fournette. And he is going to have the Bucs first down as they get five there on third and two. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Back to throw, Brady. He completes it to Evans. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. It's second and seven from the nine. To throw is Brady. Steps away to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The sack backs him up third and long. Tough challenge for Brady in the box. They'll look to throw. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely... Let's to go! Here in the, get the fuck out of here! Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical execution. Ah! They grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, Ooh. they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Turns this to the 22. One last shot now for Prescott. He's going to let it fly. That's mine. 
Oh, yes, stop wasting time, man. Uh, uh, uh. This had to go down to the last play. Stop wasting time, Vlad. Play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. Couple lateral, maybe some 4D.